Have you seen The Housemaid? It's a 2010 drama thriller about a man who has an affair with his family's housemaid, which leads to dark consequences. The film begins at a food market where Unyi and her friend live and work together. They hear about a suicide nearby and go to take a look after getting off work. Unyi sees a job advertisement for a housemaid for a rich family. Some time later, Mrs. Cho, a senior housemaid of the employer, has a lunch meeting with Unyi. Mrs. Cho informs her that she has checked her references and apologizes for going to her apartment, but she had to check how she lives. Some time later, Unyi travels to the house and Mrs. Cho introduces Unyi to Hela, the lady of the house, who is pregnant with twins. Unyi receives her maid uniform and soon after meets the family's daughter Nami, who Unyi is immediately fond of. Unyi spends the rest of the day serving the family and getting used to the house. Later on, Hunko, the man of the house, arrives home from work. He greets his new maid and says that she will be looking after his children and cooking for everyone in the house, so her role is very important. She brings the couple some wine and returns to her room after an exhausting day. But as soon as she lies down, little Nami asks her to keep the door between their rooms open a little. The next morning, Unyi serves Hungo breakfast while admiring him play Beethoven on the piano. The family and maid say bye to Hungo as he sets off to work and then head inside to serve breakfast to the rest of the family. Unyi spends the rest of the day pampering Hera, who then asks her to clean the bathroom. Hungo returns before she has finished cleaning the bathroom and catches her in an awkward position. Instead of letting her continue, he watches until she leaves. Some time later, the family take a trip to a hot spring villa. Unyi comes along to watch over Nami. That night, Hera and Hungo have sex, but because of her pregnancy, she asks if they can stop. Hungo decides to head down to Unyi's room and catches her half-dressed and in bed. He offers her some wine and then tells her to remove the blanket. She does so obediently, and he starts to touch her, sensually. Things escalate, and Unyi performs oral sex on him. The family return home and Unyi continues her daily duties serving Hera, with Hungo watching on. One night, after reading Nami a bedtime story, Hungo returns home late from work and hands the maid their payment, while congratulating Mrs. Cho on her son's promotion. Later on, Hungo sneaks over to check on his daughter and then enters Unyi's room, where she is lying naked. He offers her more wine and they begin to have sex. However, Mrs. Cho hears the act from outside the room. The next day, Unyi puts on makeup and serves breakfast to Hungo, who gives her a check for her services. That afternoon, she massages Hela's pregnant tummy and speaks affectionately to her unborn twins. Mrs. Cho watches their developing relationship. After work, Mrs. Cho and Unyi are in the bathroom together. Mrs. Cho says she has wasted her life in this house and asks her how long she plans to work here because she is still in good shape and asks if she has a man. Unyi replies that she likes the job and the men out there don't deserve her time. The next day, Mrs. Cho meets Hera's mother and tells her about the affair, adding that she suspects that Unyi is pregnant, as her breasts are swollen, and that she has stopped eating kimchi like before. Hela's mother thanks her for the information and congratulates Mrs. Cho on her son being appointed to be a prosecutor. Mrs. Cho thanks Hera's mother for the help with that. Unyi visits her mother's grave with her friend and tells her about the affair. Her friend is surprised and advises her to leave that job. Back at work, Unyi is cleaning a chandelier on the ladder when Hela's mother missteps and pushes the ladder, which makes Unyi fall and hang from the chandelier. The family and Mrs. Cho watch helplessly until she falls to the ground. Unyi is sent to the hospital, where they find that she only has a mild concussion and a bruised pelvis. Back at the house, Hela's mother tells Hela about the affair and we realize that her mother pushed Unyi on purpose. 
Mrs. Cho visits Uni at the hospital and hands her a check while subtly suggesting she leave the job. When Mrs. Cho returns home, she is scolded by Hera for gossiping about her husband. Later that night, Hungo returns home and is greeted by his mother-in-law. He asks Mrs. Cho about Uni, who informs him that their new maid will be back tomorrow as she is sick and in the hospital. Hela interrupts them by insulting Mrs. Cho for being annoying and old. Before leaving the hospital, a doctor informs Uni that she is pregnant, which leaves her quite surprised. Her friend again suggests that she leaves and abort the baby as she will spend all her savings on it. Uni doesn't take her friend's advice and returns to the house, supported by her friend who brings her some herbal medicine. Hela's mother comforts her daughter saying that she should just forget about the affair and let Hungo sleep with whoever he wants because after she gives birth, she will be treated like a queen. That night, Hera sneaks up to Uni's room with a golf club and raises it up high above her head but doesn't strike. She turns, sees Mrs. Cho, and throws her the club before letting out a roar of rage which wakes Uni up. While taking a bath the next day, Uni says to Mrs. Cho that she feels the house is scary because of something she felt last night, but isn't sure of what. Mrs. Cho repeats again that she should just leave. Uni decides to take that advice and goes to inform Hela that she will be quitting. Hela walks up to her and slaps her twice. Uni stands up to her, asking what she is doing, and Hela says that she has treated her humanely and nicely. Uni, realizing that she has been exposed, apologizes, but is then hit a couple more times. Hela's mother then hands her a check and suggests she gets an abortion so that everyone can go back to living in peace. Back in Uni's room, Mrs. Cho goes to hand her some ice for her face. Uni expresses her guilt for not thinking of Hela, but Mrs. Cho replies that it's her husband that should have thought of her. Mrs. Cho says that she can ask for more money and asks her if she really wants to bring up the baby. Before leaving the room, Mrs. Cho frustratedly asks why she stood there and let Hela slap her. That night, Nami comes up to Uni and tells her that she will look after her tonight. The little girl then apologizes for her grandma pushing her off the ladder. Uni replies that it was just an accident, but the girl shakes her head. The next day, Hela returns home and switches Uni's medicine for something else. She then orders Mrs. Cho to move Uni to her room and to watch over her. Nami goes to visit Uni again in her new room, asking her why she is there. Uni tells her that it's because she has a baby. Nami asks her if it's a boy or a girl, to which Uni replies, I hope it is a girl, like her. Hela and her mother leave to prepare for the arrival of the twins. Mrs. Cho returns back to the house and sighs a breath of relief for her freedom. While Mrs. Cho is reading, Uni enters the room and informs her that she has decided to keep the baby. Mrs. Cho considers it for a few seconds and replies, Go ahead. During dinner, Mrs. Cho tells Uni that these people are scary and she is worried that something terrible might happen to her. At the hospital, Hera has given birth to twins. Hungo kisses her, but she bites him. Although in shock, he calmly says he will go change and come back. After he leaves, Hera calls him a son of a bitch, and her mother tells her that that's enough. Back at the house, Uni wanders around and uses Hera's makeup while taking her herbal medicine. Meanwhile, Hungo returns home in a fury and goes to his room to check his lip. He then catches Uni in his bathtub. She turns and they smile at each other. He asks her what she is doing and she tells him that she was feeling a little under the weather. He asks what's wrong with her. She tells him that she is pregnant and that the ladies really smacked her around. She adds that she is going to have the baby. Mrs. Cho rushes up and tells her to get out, but at that moment, Yuni starts to throw up blood and bleeds into the bathtub. She yells, I know you don't think I am human, but this is your baby. Hungo leaves while Yuni screams in pain. Later on, Hunko lies to Uni, saying let's have the baby, but then she is sedated 
and taken away by doctors. Mrs. Cho informs Hela's mother that Hunko would like to have a word with her. In Hunko's office, Hela's mother pretends not to know that the baby was his, saying that the maid will lie about anything to get some money off them. Hunko asks if it wasn't his, why would she go through all that trouble? He then asks if it was her who poisoned Uni. She denies it at first, but when he asks if it was her daughter then, she admits that it was her. Hunko sternly says how dare she think that she can do that, and if it isn't his child if her daughter doesn't give birth to it. The doctors perform the abortion on Uni while Mrs. Cho cries nearby. Later, Mrs. Cho then admits telling Hela's mother that Uni was pregnant. Uni slaps her twice. Mrs. Cho apologizes and offers her money while suggesting she go and find someone nice. Uni says she must have revenge, however small. Back in her friend's bed, Uni says the world has been cruel to her and that she wanted to have a daughter like Nami, the only person in that house who was genuinely nice to her. Her friend tells her to wipe those thoughts from her head, forget it ever happened, and go to sleep. Sometime later, Uni returns to the house and is greeted by Mrs. Cho. She heads up to the bedroom and picks up one of the twins. Hunko comes out of the bathroom in shock, asking what she is doing here. Uni parrots what he says and picks up the other twin before giving them back to him and exiting the room. In the living room, the family are all sitting on the sofa, and Heros asks Mrs. Cho how Uni got into the house. Mrs. Cho ignores that question and says that she is quitting. Hunko asks her what the hell she is doing, and Mrs. Cho repeats the question back to him, adding, if he really wants to live like this. Uni, who is drenched, then appears on the interior balcony and is spotted by Nami, who calls out her name. Uni asks Nami if she is happy with her two angelic brothers, and she replies, just so-so. Nami then asks her about her baby. Uni tells her that it died while staring at Hera and Hunko. Mrs. Cho then pleads for Uni not to do this and to leave with her. Uni replies that she can't get out of her head and that she can't bear the horrible things that happened here. Hunko says that he can settle a deal with her, but Uni just gives him a look while biting her lips. Uni then thanks Nami and apologizes to her and the twins. She asks that she doesn't forget about her before wrapping a noose around her neck and launching herself off the balcony. The family stare in horror while Uni swings and flails around for a few moments before setting herself on fire. Everyone leaves the house. Nami looks back through a window before being taken away by her father. We then see the family celebrating Nami's birthday with her family outside the house with some new maids. Hera sings her a birthday song and Hunko pops open a bottle of champagne. The couple laugh and continue on, as if nothing has happened. Nami walks away from them and stares off into the distance. <laughs> oh, see. Now you've seen it, please like and subscribe. And remember kids, if you hired a maid that's hotter than your wife, just get an uglier one.